trying to find that news hook to be able to, mm -hmm. you know, help tell that story faster. That'll yeah. be the best way to do that. Well, and are you guys also finding you might have to do a little bit more work on the storytelling angle of maybe that part's interesting, but if we could provide more background or additional materials or things like that, it'll make it easier for that story to be told. Oh, definitely. I think the more we can give journalists up front, whether it's, you know, video, pictures, statistics, um, just facts in general, mm -hmm. the more right. likely they are to cover stories because they don't have the time to sit and dig for all this stuff. And sometimes right. they don't have time to go shoot video that's, you know, 20 right. miles from where they're at. And so it definitely does make a difference if we're able to mm -hmm. basically hand them pretty much all the elements that they need, yep. you know, already have interview um, subjects ready to talk to them. Um, yeah, the more we can help them, the better. Yep. And be providing that any research and, yeah. you know, if we can provide them assets, infographics or, you know, any other assets that we might have to help tell that story that's already created, that's always really good, too. Mm -hmm. I definitely always learn a lot from you guys about how <laughs> that ecosystem just continues to evolve. And um, I appreciate that you guys stay pushing how we evolve with it. Yeah. And obviously our jobs are very hard, very rewarding. What keeps yeah. you wanting to do what you're doing? Um, well, I love the people that I work with. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sucking up. But. <laughs> Okay, You're loved you too. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's, again, it's fulfilling. It's, yeah. it's fun. You know, one of my favorite things to do is to help a client maybe who has never done it before and you can build it from scratch. It's kind of fun. And I've had the opportunity to be able to do that a lot where I've got to work with somebody who's maybe never done any PR uh, media relations before. And you can kind of build that storytelling machine mm -hmm. and it's fun to watch them go from having you know nothing to to watching it grow to to be where their experts are in the media all the time that's really fun mm -hmm. and it's really great for me to do it's just kind of fulfilling for me to watch that happen yeah mm -hmm. So. What is the challenge, though, when you're working with somebody who's never dealt with a PR agency, <laughs> um, who's working with one for the first time? Like, how do you what's the biggest challenge when trying to get them on board and believe in what you're trying to help them with? I, it can be difficult because they don't understand. Mm -hmm. You know, they they just think that we, you know, um, should be able to just get their story told. It's a good story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And usually, yeah, they're great stories. We just have to figure out how to tell them and trying to set those expectations up front to let them know and to educate. I think our job, you know, first and foremost is to educate our clients, to let them know, here's what we're going to do and here's how long it might take to do that. And, you know, the more assets we have, the more information we have and the best experts that we have are going to help us. So I think it's helping, I think it's helping our clients help us is probably the biggest assets that we have to be able to do that. 